Hello everyone. Ultimately, we are done with NEET 2020 and today I am your biology faculty from Sri Chaitanya and we will be discussing some, uh, the keys of biology. So students, I will be discussing the code G5 with you. If you have selected any other code, then you can go to srichaitanya.net and you can check the answer keys. So let's get started. So the first question that we have here is, if the distance between two consecutive base pair is 0.34 nanometer and the total number of base pairs of a DNA double helix in a typical mammalian cell is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power 9 base pairs, then the length of the DNA is approximately. So you can directly get the answer from NCRT which says obviously 2.2 meters but if you want the calculation it goes like this 0 0.34 into 10 to the power minus 9 which will be converting the nanometers into meters and then you multiply it with the number of base pairs that is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power 9 base pairs and you will be getting the answer of approximately 2.2 meters. Moving ahead to the next question, which is the important site for formation of glycoproteins and glycolipids in eukaryotic cell? So students, this is directly from the NCRT and you know the answer is Golgi body. Moving ahead to the next question, experimental verification of chromosomal theory of inheritance was done by. So here you have to focus on the word experimental verification. It was done by T.H. Morgan. So your answer is option three, T.H. Morgan. Moving ahead, identify the incorrect statement. Again, highlighting the word which is very important, incorrect. So now you see, sapwood is involved in the conduction of water and minerals from root to leaf. Yes, students, this is absolutely correct answer. Next one is, sapwood is the innermost secondary xylem and it is lighter in color. Let me tell you, it is not the innermost secondary xylem. Sapwood is present towards the outer side of the secondary xylem and it is lighter in color, but as it says innermost, therefore this statements become incorrect. So the rest of the statement that is due to deposition of tannins, raisins, oils, etc. Heartwood is darker in color is correct option and heartwood does not conduct water but gives mechanical support is again a correct uh, option. So now let's move ahead. Match the organism with its use in biotechnology. Bacillus thuringiensis. It is related to cry proteins. Thomas aquaticus, which is related to DNA polymerase, the one we will be using in PCR, that is stack polymerase, that is basically obtained from Thomas aquaticus. Agrobacterium tumefaciens, it is basically a cloning vector. And Salmonella typhurium, construction of the first rDNA technology. So if you match it, then you will get the answer as option one, that is Bacillus thuringiensis cry protein. Thomas aquaticus DNA polymerase, agrobacterium tumefaciens cloning vector and salmonella typhurium which is construction of the first rDNA molecule. Moving ahead. So now identify the substance having glycosidic bond and peptide bond respectively in their structure. The answer is students inulin and insulin. Inulin is a polymer of fructose and it will be having glycosidic bonds and insulin is a peptide hormone and therefore it will be having the peptide bond. Next, moving ahead, name the enzyme that facilitates opening of DNA helix during transcription. How many of you have marked it as DNA helicase? I'm pretty sure many of you might have not observed the word transcription here. So students, as the word transcription is mentioned, so the answer will be RNA polymerase, right? Moving ahead to the next question. Which of the following is the most abundant protein in animals? Yes, this is a line directly taken from the chapter biomolecules of the NCERT and the answer is obviously collagen. And the most abundant enzymes in case of a plant that is Rubisco which is also mentioned but here the answer will be collagen because 
it says in case of animals moving ahead many true how many true breeding pea plant varieties did mendel select as pairs which were similar except in one character with contrasting trait do i need to explain this no this is directly from the ncrt once again a very easy question and the answer is 14 moving ahead the body of the ovule is fused within the funical at the body of the ovule it is fused with the funicle at a position which is known as the hilum so the answer is students it is hilum clear so let's move ahead which of the following is correct about viroids they have free rna without protein coat they have dna with protein coat they have free dna without protein coat they have rna with protein coat now this statement is directly taken from the ncrt and the answer will be they have free rna without protein coat moving ahead to the next question the number of substrate level phosphorylation in one turn of citric acid cycle is so students here you have to mark the key word that is one turn in one turn there is the production of only one molecule of atp or gtp via substrate level phosphorylation when succinyl coenzyme a gets converted into succinate so your answer will be one right let's move on to the next question the product of reaction catalyzed by nitrogenase in root nodules of leguminous plants is or are so now this is from the question uh, taken from the equation that is given in ncrt which clearly mentions that along with the formation of ammonia there is also the formation of hydrogen involved right so that is it so your answer will be ammonia and hydrogen next let's move on to the next question which of the following statement is correct so here this is absolutely very very easy question hai na so the answer here will be adenine pairs with thymine through, uh, through two hydrogen bonds right so that is your answer moving on to the next question so here we have matched the following again a very simple one so here zygotene what happens in zygotene there will be the formation of the synapses what happens in pachytein yes crossing over takes place in diplotene chiasmata formation occurs and in diakinesis terminalization occurs so therefore your answer will be one right next what do we have choose the correct pair from the following correct pair right so do not think otherwise the option clearly uh, or the question clearly mentions it as correct pair so here polymerase breaks the dna into fragments definitely not nucleotides are added with the help of polymerases nucleases separates the two strands of dna the enzyme which is involved in separation of the two strands of dna students it is helicase and not nucleases next is exonucleases makes cuts at specific position within the dna when there is cut made at specific position within the dna it is specifically we can be talking about the endonucleases and here we have ligase which joins the two dna molecules that is absolutely the correct option so your correct option is option 4 let's move ahead the the roots that originate from the base of the stem are again directly taken from the lines of ncrt and it's again a very very simple question the answer is fibrous roots right let's move ahead now the question here is in gel electrophoresis separated dna fragment can be visualized with the help of it is again directly taken from the ncrt you know it very well that it is with the help of ethidium bromide in uv radiation so that is the correct option moving on to the next question so in this question basically what you have some nutrients have been given and their function has been given so you have to match them right so this is again a very simple one iron it is required for chlorophyll biosynthesis zinc 
it is required for the synthesis of auxin and here auxin is not mentioned directly but IAA is mentioned. What is IAA? It's a type of auxin which is indole acetic acid. Next boron, you have studied it over and over again in sexual reproduction as well as in mineral nutrition that without boron germination of pollen grain is not possible. So boron will be matching with uh, pollen germination and manganese very important for photolysis of water, right? So the correct option here will be option number 3, right? So moving ahead to the next question. Bt cotton variety that was developed by the introduction of toxin gene of Bacillus thuringiensis is resistant to. The answer is insect pest. Do not get confused with insect predators. Insect predators are organisms which will be predating on the insects. They are not resistant to insect predators but the answer is they are basically resistant to the insect pest, right? Moving on to the next question. Ray florets. Ray florid students, they have an inferior ovary. This is again a very, very direct question here. Next, let's move on. Identify the wrong statement with regard to restriction enzymes. Now, this question, it's a bit dicey. There might be some ambiguity, but see, what we are uh, like, what you can think it is like this, uh, sticky ends can be joined by using DNA ligases. We can think it like this, that there is no role or no relation between DNA ligase and restriction endonucleases. So that is why what we can do is we can pick, uh, pick this as the correct option that is sticky ends can be joined with the help of DNA ligases. Moving on. The oxygenation activity of Rubisco enzyme in photorespiration leads to the formation of. Now, here you might have a confusion. While there is photorespiration going on, the first step what happens is that IUBP, which is a 5 carbon compound, in the presence of oxygen and rubisco forms one three carbon compound that is phosphoglyceric uh, acid and one molecule of phosphoglycolate which is a two carbon compound. So one is a three carbon compound and the other one which is phosphoglycolate it is a two carbon compound. But do you find any option which states three carbon compound and a two carbon compound? No. So do not fall in this trap. Do not pick this as the correct option because nowhere there is the production of a four carbon compound during photorespiration. So students, the answer will be one molecule of three carbon compound. You might think that why is the two carbon compound missing? But let me tell you, they did not mention that one molecule of three carbon compound only if the statement would say only then this answer would have been wrong but they have simply mentioned that there is the production of one molecule of a three carbon compound and that's absolutely correct so this is the correct option let's move ahead again this time we have got lots of match the following right so here again a very very easy one i know all of you must have rocked this so Clostridium butylicum, obviously butyric acid. So see, this is A2. We don't need to see anything else. So the straight away one option is matching. That is option number one. But still we can just go through. That is trichoderma is uh, cyclosporin A, monascus purpureus, is statins, blood cholesterol lowering agents, and aspergillus niger. It is for citric acid production. Right? Okay. So now let's move ahead. Which of the following pair is of unicellular algae? So here the answer will be chlorella and spirulina. Both of them are unicellular in nature. Moving on to the next question. Again a very easy one. In light reaction, plastoquinone facilitates the transfer of electrons formed. So plastoquinone transfers the electrons from PS2 to cytochrome B6F complex. So this is your correct answer that is PS2 to cytochrome B6F complex. Next question, 
which of the following statement about inclusion body is incorrect right so do not just randomly you know in a hurry hurried condition so we can just mark anything the key word here is incorrect so the answer will be these are involved in ingestion of food particles yes my dear students inclusion bodies are not involved in the ingestion of any sort of food particles so this is the incorrect option and the correct statement okay so the transverse section of a plant shows the following anatomical features large number of scattered vascular bundles surrounded by bundle sheath large conspicuous parenchymatous brown tissue vascular bundles conjoint and closed phloem parenchyma is absent now from these two statements first thing that you can make out is we are talking about obviously monocotyledonous plants because in monocots cambium is absent so we call it as closed and obviously phloem parenchyma is also absent now uh, by looking at the first two statements what you can easily conclude from here is we are talking about the monocotyledonous stem so students all these features has been clearly mentioned in the ncrt again this is more or less of a sort of a direct question in water hyacinth and water lily pollination takes place by so though they are aquatic plants but their in their their case water pollination does not take place what happens is that pollination takes place with the help of either insects or with the help of winds so this is your correct option okay so let's move on to the next question which of the following is put into an aerobic sludge digester for further sewage treatment and the answer is primary uh, sorry and the answer is activated sludge right the activated sludge will be uh, put in the anaerobic sludge digester for further processes only a small part of the activated sludge will be kept as an inoculum rest of it it will be simply transferred to the anaerobic sludge digester so next what do we have the process responsible for facilitating loss of water in liquid form from the tip of grass blade at night and in early mornings so students what are we talking about yes you are right we are talking about guttation and for guttation the most important uh, process which is facilitating this is the root pressure so there you have the answer it is the root pressure which of the following is not an inhibitory substance governing seed dormancy which is not inhibitory again the key word here not so see abscisic acid phenolic acid para ascorbic acid all of these are inhibitors but you know that gibberellic acid promotes seed germination so your answer will be gibberellic acid moving ahead to the next question the first phase of translation is again directly taken from the ncrt the answer is what amino uh, acylation of trna right so let's move ahead strobili or cones are found in in some pteridophytes there is the formation of strobili also known as the cones and the correct answer is here equisetum in equisetum we find that there can be the production of the cones the diagram is also there in the ncrt right so let's move ahead some dividing cells exit the cell cycle and enter vegetative inactive stage this is called quiescent stage or the g not stage this process occurs at the end of so students here it is an extremely dicey question because the meaning of end of will be varying from one person to another but going by the book of the famous author g carp what we have understood is that when the cell decides to exit from the cell cycle it has to be done prior to the cell entering the s phase 
So for that reason, we have selected that G1 phase would be the correct option. Another way to justify this would be the cell needs to exit from the cell cycle just before it reaches the G1S checkpoint because if the cell reaches the G1S checkpoint, it will be bound to complete the S phase and the cell cycle. So it's very important for you to understand that the cell decides to exit from the cell cycle prior to entering the S phase. So for that reason students, what we have done here is we have selected option one as the correct answer. So we will be moving on to the next question. Let's move ahead. The plant part which consists of two generations, one within the other. Again, you have to give it a bit of thought while answering this question. Pollen grains inside the anther, is it correct? Let's think about it. Pollen grain, it is gametophytic generation. Anther is a sporophyte, right? So this is definitely the correct one. Germinated pollen containing two male gametes. Male gametes are also haploid. Pollen grain is also haploid. So nowhere we can see the presence of two generation. Seed inside the fruit. Now students, here you might get confused. But let me tell you, seeds have three generations inside them and not two. So this is not the correct one. Embryo sac inside the ovule. Again, embryo sac is the female gametophyte and you know the gametophyte is always haploid and ovule is diploid. So you have a gametophytic generation, you have a sporophytic generation. So again, the correct option would be A and D. So this is the third option that is correct. So let's move on to the next question. Again, a question from cell division. Dissolution of the synaptonymal complex uh, occurs during. So it will be occurring during the diplotene stage. Again, it is a direct question. The ovary is half inferior. We know the examples straight away. So what is it? Rose, peach and plum. And we have one of them here. So the answer is plum. Let's move ahead. Identify the basic amino acid from the following. Again, a very easy one, which is lysine. Glutamic acid is acidic, valine is neutral, tyrosine is an aromatic amino acid. So the uh, suitable answer is lysine, right? So let's move ahead. Again, we have another match the following. Inhibitor of catalytic activity. It is malonate. Okay, next possess peptide bonds. Which one will be possessing peptide bond? Collagen will be possessing peptide bond. Uh, then you have cell wall material of fungi that is chitin. Chitin is a polymer of N-acetyl uh, uh, glucosamine and then secondary uh, metabolite it is res uh, resin. It's not re resin, it is resin. Okay. Resin, it is basically a poisonous substance which is produced by castor. Uh, uh, inhibitor of catalytic activity, I told you already, malonate ions, it can inhibit succinate, uh, the activity, it is a competitive inhibitor of uh, succinate dehydrogenase and it can inhibit its activity. So the correct answer is option number four, uh, as I have already mentioned, right? So let's move on to the next question. Identify the correct statement with regard to G1 phase of interphase. Again, this question is directly taken from the NCRT. Okay, so you already know that during the G1 phase, the cell is metabolically active. It grows but does not replicate its DNA because the replication of DNA takes place in the S phase. Again, a very direct question. So let's move on to the next question. Name the plant growth regulator upon which spraying on the sugar cane increases the length of the stem, thus increasing the yield of the sugar cane. So students, here it is referring to a process by which we can increase the internodal distance. Thereby the stem of the sugar cane will increase and which hormone is responsible for this 
yes my dear students it is gibberellin so the correct answer is gibberellin let's move ahead to the next question identify the wrong statement with reference to the gene i that controls abo blood grouping you know that the gene i is having multiple allelism it has uh, three alleles i a i b and i o and you know that i a and i b are codominant to each other so the wrong statement here the wrong statement here is when i a and i b are present together they express same type of sugar no they will be expressing different types of sugar clear so this is the wrong statement right so let's move ahead the specific palindromic sequence which is recognized by eco r1 most expected question of neat and we go on telling in the class that how important the specific uh, palindromic sequence is so the answer you all are very aware of it that is 5 prime g a a t t c 3 prime so this is the correct option right so let's move on move on or move ahead to the next question again another match the following too easy right so bt cotton bacillus thuringiensis adenosine deaminase deficiency can uh, it is related to gene therapy rna i or rna interference related to cellular defense pcr amplification of dna you already know and it can be used during the detection of hiv infection so the answer is option number 4 right okay so let's move ahead fluoridian starch has a structure similar to yes this is again a sort of easy question and it is a myelopectin and glycogen moving ahead the process of growth is maximum during very very easy we have the lag phase the log phase or the exponential phase and the stationary phase so whenever we are using the term log phase we use stationary or uh, sorry exponential phase because there is maximum growth during this phase so the correct answer is the log phase right so let's move ahead the sequence that controls the copy number of linked dna in vector is termed as it is termed as the ori site we prefer plasmids which are having a high copy number uh uh so that uh, you know uh, like it is easy for them to multiply right so it is basically controlled by the ori site thank you that's all for today's discussion